tell us about the communities that you're a part of and how they're facilitating those kinds of experiences and how they've both affected you, but also how they're affecting the community that are part of it. So, I mean, there's, I think we're all part of so many different communities. And I think one of the things that I'm lucky to have in the, the role at Creative Waikato is serving as a, um, an advisor and, and kind of strategic helper to arts organisations and creatives around the Waikato region. Mm. And so that means that we can kind of work alongside people in their communities and see the tangible impact that having accessible creative practice mm. means for people and, and understanding that that affects us at so many different levels. So, I mean, for me, that's always been a, a part of like being in different communities, being in um, local theatre and kind of the community that surrounds that, um, being in, in local orchestras and local bands and and playing music with people at school and then yeah. like finding a new community of people at university and, and the kind of expression around there, mm. finding communities in people who are making film and there's a really kind of beautiful little short film community that's here and those are people that I met through university who wasn't studying with but just kind of met yeah. at, at things yeah. and you go to shows and you meet people and you talk and um, so all of that again kind of informs the the nature of kind of who I am mm. but also a big part of our mission is in acknowledging that um, for a lot of people like the, their kind of pathway to creative practice has been removed yeah. um, so unless if you're lucky enough to have Fano that encouraged it or mm. you were predisposed to it and you went through it at school or you stumbled across it somewhere mm. it's um, often seems like a thing that sits over there yeah. but there's a range of different things that can be so beneficial to mm. people's well-being the trick is finding the one that connects with you yeah. and I think that that's the the challenge is that art culture creativity is so broad yeah. it's so many different things and there's so many different genres and subgenres and styles and layers within the thing that you can't just experience one thing and be like oh no i don't i don't I'm like that it. it's like no you you just don't like yeah. that one yeah but there's this one and this one and this one and, and mm. part of the joy of having kind of communities who are presenting a range of different things is that hopefully it encourages people to try a bunch of different things that's because the, that's the ticket. Mm -hmm. I think one of the key realizations for me was um, that not all art is for everyone, mm -hmm. but there is art for everyone. Yeah. And so it's about finding the thing that that sparks yeah. that that moment of joy for you.